Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. The heat keeps rising each and every day concerning Shebeshit's situation and people are feeling so sad. But funnily enough is the fact that many people are still saying that they want him arrested. Now, there is actually a narrative that he was drunk driving. There is no point to prove that Shebeshit was drunk driving for the point. But then again, many people are going to the socials and dropping all sort of comments, negative comments saying that he needs to be arrested, that they feel bad for him, but he needs to be arrested and stuff like that. Mainly because of the fact that he has a record, a past record most of the times of, I mean, drinking and driving sometimes or being high or going live in one way or the other. And uh, guys, all of these things are definitely um, very sad. Then again, I want to make it so clean and clear that drunk driving is um, it's a crime, a very big crime in South Africa. And I'm going to be giving you all what the constitution has to say about drunk driving. Now, I am not here saying um, Shebeshid was drunk driving. Hell no. I'm not saying that because I wasn't in that vehicle with him. I don't know. I wasn't with him before or after the situation to know if he was drunk driving or not. So um, since the point has actually been raised, I just want to give in some insight about what the constitution has to say about drunk driving in South Africa. According to the current legislation outlined in Section 65 of the National Road Traffic Act 93 of 1998, the legal limit for alcohol in a driver's blood must be less than 0.05 grams per 100 millimeters. In the case of a breathalyzed test, the alcohol concentration must not exceed 0.24 milligrams per 1,000 milliliters of breath. Regarding the actual penalties for violating these limits, the severity of the consequences largely depends on the circumstances of the offence. For instance, if the incident involves a fatality, the decision to grant bail typically lies with the prosecutor, judge or magistrate. In such severe cases, the driver could be charged with culpable homicide or even murder, both of which carry the possibility of imprisonment. When an individual is apprehended for drunk driving, the magistrate will consider any prior offences and the specific details of the current offence when determining the appropriate sentence. Repeat offenders often face harsher penalties compared to first-time offenders. The punishment for drunk driving can vary significantly based on the unique circumstances of each case. Fines for drunk driving, please I want you all to listen clearly. Fines for drunk driving can range from a minimum of 2,000 rands to a maximum of 120,000 rands. Additionally, offenders may receive a, sub a suspended sentence, which means that if they are caught driving drunk again, the suspended penalties will be enforced in addition to any new penalties. Prison sentences for drunk driving can extend up to six years or more. Please, let's listen well. Prison sentences for drunk driving can extend up to six years or more, particularly if the charge is upgraded to culpable homicide or murder. Guys, it's very sad seeing everything that is ongoing right now, given to the fact that um, many people are still not aware of this. I mean, many people know that drunk driving is not good, but they don't really know it's punishable by law. And according to what the law is telling us, I mean, you can actually be imprisoned for up to like six years. So as far as Shebeshit's situation is concerned, guys, it's really sad seeing him going through what he is going through. I mean, it is alleged that he lost uh, his foot. It is uh, alleged that he lost his daughter. I mean, this one is not even an alleged no more because it has been confirmed that he lost his daughter and uh, he's very much hospitalized. We even heard, I mean, earlier today that Malema even changed his hospital because apparently he... They don't, they didn't have, uh, I don't know if it's funds or insurance or stuff like that. I don't know. I really cannot tell. But then again, the, the government as well says something about insurance right here. The, the, the government says, furthermore, it is important to note that in South Africa, medical aid schemes, including both comprehensive plans and hospital plans, and insurance companies are not legally required to honor claims that arise from illegal activities, such as drunk driving. This means that... Individuals involved in drunk driving incidents may find themselves without financial support from their medical aid or insurance providers for any resulting damages or in 
injuries. So now we discover now that um, it only makes sense that uh, because some people were wondering that how on earth is it that I mean a whole Shebeshi doesn't have insurance on himself and stuff like that and I don't even know who told them that the insurance are not taking care of it but then again people are just the way they are they are so swift in getting information so now um, I think now we have the reason because they say it's not obliged for the insurance company to assist the person if the person gets harmed while drunk driving right another point to be noted is the fact that as highlighted by Arrive Life, if a drunk driver causes a fatality, they may face fines up to 180,000 rands, along with the possibility of losing their driver's license and acquiring a criminal record that lasts for 10 years. A criminal record that lasts for 10 years. My goodness. This criminal record can significantly impact future employment opportunities and other aspects of life. Offenders may also be required to perform community service or attend a rehabilitation center. So guys, um, that is actually what I wanted to update you all about today because I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to be judgmental about this. I was not there with Shebeshit. So I just pray that he wasn't drunk driving. I just hope that it was something natural. I mean, it's so sad. It's really sad. But, uh things do happen in life right so um you all tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this i love you all